and it has to go out, you're just hoping the pet goes out by itself this morning. Or at least very quickly <laughs> yeah, right. comes back in. It is a cold morning, more typical of January 23rd than March 23rd. As we look at our conditions outside, got to start with the temperatures outside. 15 in Smithfield, 19 degrees in Providence, Newport at 19, 18 New Bedford. Typical low by this time of the second half of March is closer to the freezing mark, 32 degrees. So well below normal. The record low for today, eight. So we're kind of in between those two numbers. Wind chills feel close to that record low. Seven Providence, five Smithfield, six in Newport, and seven in New Bedford. Well, despite the chill, we are in the green. No severe weather on the way for today. Winds are breezy, but they're not nearly as strong as they were yesterday. Friday and Saturday, threat tracker is going to stay in the green. Radar is quiet. No showers, storms. No uh, bursts of snow expected for the daytime today. Certainly a shot of cold air injected into New England, though, as we see those temperatures running about 15 to 20 degrees colder than yesterday morning. Cold high pressure and control. This is helping to provide all the dry air. Notice the absence of clouds here in New England. We've got an abundant sunny day on the way for us right from the morning into the afternoon winds again not as strong as they were yesterday we are looking at a frontal system approaching with a warm front tomorrow temperatures in the uh, morning will be in the 20s but will warm into the 40s tomorrow afternoon little hazy sun to start the day we will bring in a chance of showers by early and mid afternoon this is at three o'clock a sprinkle or a passing shower not going to be a washout of a day and this even has a little bit of clearing towards the sunset on Friday evening. This morning, we don't have to worry about clearing skies. They are already there. Should see abundant sun for the morning hours and we'll keep it going in the afternoon. 37 in Charlestown, Narragansett, Wickford at 36, dry, bright, breezy and chilly in Johnston, East Providence and West Warwick between 35 and 40 most spots this afternoon. It'll feel a bit more comfortable than yesterday without the winds and the falling temperatures. So we're already headed in the right direction. It will be a cold night back below freezing again as temperatures fall into the 20s late night lows around 25 tomorrow. Again, increasing clouds passing shower or sprinkle temperatures though are up into the mid 40s. Not as warm as we should be 50 degrees, but at least uh, again closer. Saturday could end up warmer than normal. And while it's not going to be a washout eh, throughout the day, you're going to have to dodge a couple of showers in that milder air between 50 and 55. Sunday does look cooler still. There'll be an area of high pressure trying to wet its way down from the north. If it gets down far enough, we may not see much in the way of measurable precipitation on Sunday. My concern would be that with east winds in place, we could be trapped under some clouds and drizzly conditions. So still going to be the probably drearier half of the weekend. Monday looks cold and damp. Rain maybe mixing with a little bit of uh, sleet or freezing rain in the morning hours of Monday. Highs in the middle 40s. Tuesday and Wednesday starting to get back on track a little bit, looking at temperatures climbing into the 50s.